All right. Dinga and Adamantine, which is Andriana. Yes. yes. Right? Uh, welcome to the first uh, separate music video festival podcast. Thank you. And thanks, thanks. Uh, we have with you guys Melina. And thank you, Mihali, Spanos, uh, Renos, Stio, <laughs> uh, and the Zodiac Studios. Uh, guys, I really like the clip, honestly. Thank you very uh, much. Lovely. I don't know how, I mean, you had a lot of stock footage for the mountains or. We actually didn't have a lot. Ah, it was okay. a forbidden area to film. Okay. Alexandros had a, yeah. a really big challenge to to add like a wide space of uh, of desert, but he added few like uh, you know ready clips. So he kind of made it. It, really it was nice amazing, honestly. Job. Like um, from the beginning till the end, uh, and the you had a, you had a makeup artist that did the beginning with the skin yes it was actually aphrodite she's yeah. the artist director of the video very amazing she yeah. has really amazing ideas usually so when she said we're gonna be using these rice uh, cakes yeah. that we're gonna wet them and put them on the skin to just look we did them in uh, mamari in the case okay. that that shooting that specific one and the separate was in akrodiri akrodiri okay yeah. Uh, I, I identify the Crodiri because I go there a lot and I think my cousin does photography there as well. Uh, and Dinga, you are always fantastic. Thank you. I'm a huge Thank fan you. of your work. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. Not only as a model artist, yeah. uh, you, yeah. but your brand now, with, it's amazing. Yeah? Thank, you. How, Thank you. Thank how you. How to. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit later about All that. Right. Prayer. Prayer. Uh, the first time I heard the song... Uh, it was uh, something different, something fresh, and I really enjoyed it. Thank this you so this much. is your only song. It's not actually my only song. I have a second one, which is a part of a like a, um, let's say a poetic kind of composition. It's a concept EP, mm -hmm. let's say it has an intro. It's prayer, vessel, and outro. So you need to kind of listen into it in sequence to understand a little bit of the message of that I want to. Okay, so there is a storytelling in. There is work. a lot yeah. of storytelling. Um, whatever I write, usually, uh, it's like withdrawn from my personal experiences, and I try to transcend these messages to to the lyrics. Mm -hmm. So it's a kind of a challenging thing to actually write something meaningful that will resonate to people's hearts. Right. And, and you write the music and the lyrics as well. Uh, I did co-production on the music, mm -hmm. uh, but George Elinas did uh, the whole production of the of the EP, and mm -hmm. I'm very proud of him and the work he's put and the effort he's put into the EP generally. So I'm I'm quite thankful for the whole uh, work that we put together as a team, and it's like it was a holistic experience for all of us because I wanted to. Um, kind of give them the message of, of prayer because it, it means a different thing to many people. And prayer can be anything, can be a message you want to give to the divine, mm. a, um, a thing like a, a little a little message to yourself. It can, You can be your own God or I don't really uh, put some effort into a meaning of religion in okay. the song. It can mean anything to anyone. So in a sense, even the team, I wanted them to feel in a different way how this message is tr transcended to them. And by team, you mean the whole people, the crew All of the, the crew music of video, the, the everyone. production of the yes. music? Yes, everyone. Okay. What is your procedure uh, to write the songs? Like uh, you first uh, think of the theme and then you jump into the lyrics? How do you... Not really. Um, usually, I, I initially started... Uh, the Adamantine project. It's, Which I want to ask you why Adamantine? It, it was uh, kind of challenging to find a name because um, my name, like my original name is Adriana and I have the artistic one, D'Antonio. So I mm. wanted to combine the first letters of Adriana D'Antonio into okay. some other meaningful nickname. And Adamantine sounded a little bit like a precious stone or something yeah, like that's true. spiritual art. Or, and it's usually uh, translated as something uh, 
like very like hard to break and it, it means a lot of things actually i mean adamant when you have an adamant opinion that means you have strong opinion on something so it it has all, also a meaning so whatever i put into my work so you, has to have some you meaning put a lot of details which is amazing it's yes. what artists should do like yes. yeah so starting from poetry everything started uh, initially i'm a performer i've been a recording artist I was part of a band uh, called Black Annies. Oh. We participated in fengaros in different events around the island. But when I decided to separate from the band, I wanted to go solo and do some experimental project, which is a downtime. And it all started from poetry. <laughs> it, it all started from personal experiences and some disappointments I had in my life. Mm. And I wanted to put this dark poetry into the work. And then... Prayer came up as a message from uh, a, a very like painful separation from a person. Mm. So it kind of, uh, it captured some different meaning in the process. Now that when I'm listening to prayer, it means totally different thing to me. But back then it was a message uh, to just release my pain. That's fantastic, yes. Uh, how Ndinga came into this? Well, I was uh, asking Aphrodite yeah. <laughs> about an exotic model. Mm. And we were be between uh, a black model and albino model. Mm. We really don't have albino models in Cyprus, yeah. as far okay. as I know. So we ended up picking up Dinga. And I really liked the photo shooting he did with Tommaso, mm -hmm. a, a designer. He made amazing work. He really like showed like some personality on the photos, and I said, "That's that's our guy for sure." Yeah. That's the one. <laughs> and all those uh, arrangements she did on his body with the gold and stuff, it was like very contrasty on him, and it was very yeah. matching. He also has this amazing aura as a person. He has, yeah. Who is playing actually the healer? Mm. Um, the personal guide in the, the the guru let's say or the shaman as i wanted to call him yeah you gave him a credit uh, as He's a, a shaman, shaman yeah. so he he quite played the role very well in this uh, music video yeah tell us your experience uh, from zero to the end from that um, i mean from that time um the way i met aphrodite i was um i had done I, I did a shoot with her. Mm -hmm. I think uh, it was Nicosia. And then I worked with Tomozo as well. And then Tomozo, I think he introduced me to Aphrodite. And then um, I, I think a year later, I got a text from Aphrodite. Like, there's a video shoot. I was excited because that was my first video shoot, you know? I mean, ah, someone... It was, yeah. it was before the... With Katerina, what was the Kain, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was before. Kais. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was before. I mean, no, Kais came after. Kain ah, okay. came like two years later. So when she texted me, I was like, wow, you know, I got to do this. So... I listened to the music. It was kind of what I was listening to um, at that time in my life as well. Mm -hmm. That's when my art as well as a painter, that's when I started. So I was like, yeah, let's do it. And then we just linked up, we went, and then I, I loved the idea that because it, it, it wasn't just about prayer, you know, and like the healing and then going through the process that she was going through her life. I was going through the exact thing so, um, as well in my life during that time. So me being in that so role, was that's why I played time. it. Yeah, yeah, it was perfect time. That's why I just got into the role and I mean, it seemed like mine, you know. Yeah, oh, that's great. It. And uh, tell us, how, how many days were the shooting? Mm, it was about three days. Mm -hmm. It was in each location. The, the last uh, takes are from studio. So these visual effects added, mm -hmm. the glitch and stuff that I really like putting in, in all my in You have a lot of effects inside there is, the... There yeah. must be a lot of yeah. effect to, mm -hmm. you know, to kind of give meaning to the drama, to the dark poetry I want to... That's why I, I, I want to call it visual poetry, mostly, oh, rather nice. than a music video okay. or video clip. I see it that. makes much more meaning to name it as visual poetry because I'm trying to con uh, convey a message to people. And in a sense... Um, it was like the filming took very short time. It was tiring, but it, it all paid, paid mm. off a lot. Yeah. And, and what about the, I like the effects where the the stretching, I don't know, the image. Yeah, the glitch, uh, the glitch yeah. effect. Yeah, this That's, is what I wanted. Yeah. Very like uh, mad. I wanted it 
to be like the the set, the last part of the video just to give emphasis on on my graphics mm. as like visual artist so it was a must that i asked alexander stuart on the on the music video yeah i was watching the music video and i liked it and up to that point it was something come different like the that effect the glitch effect i was like still goes and it impresses me even more you know it had to yeah. mean something we had to it's actually difficult to to um kind of convey a transcendence or to mm. transformation it's a lot more difficult to make it like to adjust it on on the human level so it had to be something you know uh something extra physical i mean uh, out of the physical realm mm. and we had to show this <laughs> not in a like low budget way because mm -hmm. you can do a lot of projects and show transcendence and transformation but you can somewhere like not give the right message right and it has to be uh noticeable it has to be like meaningful and has to have to be impactful mm. so and, and you directed the whole thing right actually it was a cooperative work. Okay. We all had some ideas. Alexandros and I sat uh, months before shooting, mm -hmm. and we had the idea on paper. We uh, elaborated on it. We had, uh, you know, some specific points that we needed to show in the video, and it was mostly like a brainstorming session mm -hmm. with him. And he wanted me to participate in it since I am um, like I was the main character of, of the filming so I can say everything I did was a collaborative work I don't want to take only the credits on me because I know that without this amazing team that I had yeah. around me I, I wouldn't be able to produce this kind of right. work yeah there was so much love that day you know I remember the day I was shooting my part um, it was a sunny day at a criteria it was the first time I went there also on the sands so you I mean, were you only imagine. one day yeah, it was yeah. one day. I mean, you couldn't imagine when I watched the video later, I was like, is this where we shot? Because, you know, Akuturi doesn't have the days that form really, right. but it has that vibe. So it was amazing. It was lovely. Yeah. yeah very, very and lovely. how many people were you guys on set? Um, it was Alexandros, Christian, Aphrodite. We had uh, a friend of mine who helped uh, Aphrodite as well do the styling. <laughs> to Aphrodite. And myself. Yeah. And myself. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. She she did a lot of work for like many people I think, the makeup was on my part because of like a few months before I used to do some makeup artistry myself mm. so I didn't really need to do the hair and the makeup so much I just wanted to make it as simple as possible because I wanted to show some other parts of the concept not so much on my face of course and to make it like impactful as I said. Yeah, and I think in the festival uh, there were a lot of people that applaud your clip. Definitely. It was, I, I, I was there and I heard it and people after was uh, discussing it. I remember uh, Rafael, Tate and Joanna, they said on the red carpet that they loved yours uh, the best. Yeah. Uh, it was... It was good. It was nice. It was embraced. Yeah. It was very, I was like honored to be honest because Christian told me about the cult experiences. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I missed. I'm usually very much deep into the social media, but I missed somehow yeah. the notification for this event. So he came up uh, in my DM and he said, There is an event happening. You need to take participation. It was last minute, as you said. Oh, thank you. you. Saw. Yeah. And I was so grateful for this because it was a time for a prayer to come up to resurface again, right. as it was written in 2019. It was before COVID. Right. After all that dark time, yeah. dark age time for us, of course, yeah. uh, creatively, artistically, I mean, we uh, had to bury ourselves somewhere in some void. So uh, we, I caved a lot of for a long time. Mm. I like I was caving for a long time somewhere in my dark thoughts. I had a little bit of depression, as like right. most of artists have. Yeah, well, everybody. Yeah. Does. So yeah. I went through a period uh, around COVID, and that thing that happened before it it was about to happen, and I think that it didn't have much exposure as it had mm. to have. I think normally. So I was so grateful that it resurfaced. It was my time, like, not to shine, but 
the whole work of these people to shine. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Tell us about your art in general. What, what do you do, man? Man, I really don't know what I do, you know. <laughs> I mean, um, art started, it was um, um, around, actually art started when I came here, you know, because mm -hmm. back, back in Cameroon, when I was there, I, I never thought about art. I was more of a fashion guy, you know, partying. That's mm -hmm. what I was doing in Cameroon and working as well. Then when I get um, when I got here, okay. When did you come here? Uh, 2018. Okay. Yeah. Then 2019, I was in a space where I was alone here and I was going through a lot and I didn't have you know friends or whoever to help me. And then COVID hit. Yeah, and then COVID hit as well. So I was and I, and then I was living in Paralimi as well. Mm -hmm. So in that space, what I started doing was in order to, like in order for everything to get out of my mind, I was just painting on paper. And then a friend of mine, George, who lives in Nicosia, he was like, you know, you can actually do an exhibition because I already had a bunch of papers in my house. I had a lot mm -hmm. of stuff. So I started buying canvases and stuff. And then I just started putting my thoughts there. I didn't really know what I was actually doing. Like, this is art. This is like, you know, like I'm growing into something, becoming something, an entity of, of, of art. And then, you know, he told me like, this can be very good for eyes of people who want to learn about your story and see a mm -hmm. different perspective. So he, he pushed my mind toward that, that perspective. And I was still afraid of it, still afraid to get out of it, out of my zone. And then I moved to Limassol, and then boom, that's where I just started, you know, I got out of my comfort zone. Then I started oh, pushing my Oh, that's great, art. man. I mean, like, you, you have also an identity yeah. uh, with what you do. Uh, yeah. You see something, you know, it's you. Yeah, you know sure, I mean? sure. And uh, and you do a lot of modeling as well, yeah. right? Yeah, And you did music videos. Yeah. Uh, Uh, I'm he proud has of you, quite man. a fluent portfolio, <laughs> yeah. to be honest. Yeah, yeah, there's nothing he cannot do. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I met you through, I hired you for a commercial. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Uh, that's the first time that I met yeah. you. We did too, right? We the American... Did... Ah, yes. And also you played in one of my shorts. Yes, yeah, that yeah, was... Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Wow, thanks for act naturally. That was amazing because... That was the first time me acting, not because okay. after the video, after the video with her, and then I did Kai's the video, and then mm -hmm. actually naturally it was a time when you know I was in the space like I'm in a short film, so it was exciting, and I was happy as well because I had Andreas as well close to me, right, right. So he was comfortable with me because I was like, you know, I'm scared, I'm like, you know, shy. I was like, no man, like, dude, this is my thing, let's go. So it was lovely, yeah. Yeah, I think you should do even more acting jobs because yeah. you have you have the face, you have the that like you said, you have she he has an aura. That is, it can be transformed into many things. Yeah. I mean, because you are doing all of this, you know, it puts me in the spotlight. <laughs> because, I mean, if, if, if the thing I have, tons of, we have tons of things as artists created that we want to do. So if I have a project and, you know, and it stays in my mind and I don't take any action, I wouldn't be able to, like, you know, be in the spotlight. But when you do this, like, for instance, it put me in the spotlight. And when you did uh, Act Naturally, when you did yeah. uh, Called Video or Words, it put us in the spotlight. So yeah, it's an amazing thing. Yeah. Thank you. Man. Yeah. All right. Uh, what's what's next? Do you have any new songs? I do. I'm preparing a new project. Uh, it's currently like, as I said, I caked for a long time. So, I had a big challenge to write a new song for the past year mm -hmm. and a half. And now I'm collaborating with Lemesios, hmm. actually, to uh, get our first track out together. He's gonna be the producer of, of my work. And for this first track, I spent a lot of time debating with myself and with him mm -hmm. about how the chorus is gonna be. It took us a lot of time, months already to come up with a chorus. And it's quite funny because it again started from a poem. I just uh, composed a poem and it was so easy and everything, even the verse came out naturally. And with that course, we had a lot of challenge. So it finally came came out as a work and I, we're gonna be releasing it. I don't know. As a single. TV, yeah, it's gonna be a single. I want to prepare something special. So again, it's gonna take some time to, to go out to the world. But I'm very happy because I, the times I spent uh, like kind of Challenging myself whether I need to continue doing something artistic was uh, like a big debate with myself. Well, you have uh, to. 
Yeah, why, you, why you do have you have no choice? Yeah. There is, there is also al always the need to just have a break, I think. And I, I, at some point, I, I felt I lost my muse. Hmm. I stopped writing anything on, on like a simple note. Now it started again. It's like a natural flow. You have to catch this energy and this flow and just put, you put it out in some outlet. You know, it has to come out. Yeah, I mean, and, and we as Inga artists... today shared an amazing reel about empathy. Okay. Yeah. And Actually, I saw it um, from Erica Badu's um, it's story. It's amazing so like... how empaths, like, generally, they have to do this. They mm -hmm. have to uh, commit into a ritual to take out this empathy, this feeling they have. This, uh, it's called emotional intelligence. Yeah. And it's... It's some kind of an intelligence for people. It's not a talent or something you can do. It's just taking it out in a way. And I think empaths should deposit this uh, empathy mm -hmm. to some work for sure. And Dinga is doing, it's doing it quite often in yeah. his paintings. Mm -hmm. I can see a lot of argument with himself on the paintings. Yeah, yeah my mind especially, <laughs> you know. But it's, I mean, it's, it's, everything has to do with environment, you know, for me. Like, for instance, right now I'm here. Tomorrow, if I want to do a painting, it's going to impact my painting. So if I'm in a stressful environment, whatever I want to paint, it impacts it. So when she talks about being an empath, it's just like, you know, when you are so emotional, you gather. It's not like you are emotional. It's what, ha it's what is happening around uh, mm -hmm. your surrounding. It affects you. So you are absorbing that energy. If you keep it all in you, as she said, she wasn't doing anything because she lost her muse. You have to keep it out. You have to just set it out, and yeah. that's like, like, and that's the product of your art. That's what people see and appreciate. Like, wow, you know. But at the same time, you don't know exactly what you're doing. Yeah, in general, as artists, we need to take sometimes a small break. Yeah, yeah, sure. To Definitely. recharge our batteries or whatever. Yeah. It is creative yes. a lot to to be silent. Of course. Sometimes yeah. it's good to also be silent and be alone. Spend a lot of time alone to you know clear the the space the mental space, the emotional capacity of yourself to just, you know, restart, reboot. Mm. Every time. It's necessary. Every time. Yeah. Every time. Do you do any live performances? Not for the moment. I've been invited actually to do something, but it, on, on the side is not part of a Damantine, of course. Mm -hmm. It's uh, it's going to be some, uh, some band. We're going to be starting with covers. I'm going to go back to the rock. Uh, you missed it. Blues so rock music okay. that I really love. It kind of put me into some action because I haven't been on the scene for quite a long time. Mm. And since the separation with the band, it actually cost me a lot. It, co it was a breakup for me. So, How long was the band active? Uh, about three years, I can say. Three to four years. It's, it's funny. I, I remember the name and I remember the logo as well. Yes, the bird. Wow. <laughs> yes. And I, uh, now that you said it, I... I had that image. I've never seen you live, but I remember the logo. I don't know. Andreas Kumis how. designed the logo. Yeah. He was oh. part of uh, the Central Alchemist, if you know. Amazing artist also. I'm, I really appreciate it. I'm him. trying to remember where, because I know that, but I don't know where. Well, yes, we participated for, mm. like two, for two, not consecutive years, but two Fengaros participations. It was a big thing for us because we didn't have much live performances. We wanted to keep it low key. And that's why I think the project was very special. Mm -hmm. And at the point where we stopped actually bonding and connecting, we stopped writing songs, which is, right. was a very crucial point to the, to the whole, I don't know, to, to the whole composition of the band. And it was the time for us to actually Hmm. put an end to it and yeah. continue with our careers whatsoever but i guess most bands are like that right you start yes. and then you're in for five years and then everyone starts finding an individual journey so i guess so yeah. i found an individual journey in, in I, and Seth i really Dali like Zaman, your journey. my yeah. favorite Iran, dutch dutch persian hmm. uh, artist seftaliza she really inspired me into my journey as a Valentine. She's a she's a singer. What, what? She's a performing singer. Okay. She has done a lot of things, and you need to check out her her video clip, Human. Okay. It's very prominent and very popular one, 
And actually, I my really first, my favorite uh, film director is, uh, is Persian as well. As Far Far Khadi, I don't know what we have. What kind of movies he does? Like documentaries? Oh, he's doing films? dramas and stuff. Dramas. But uh, yeah. Okay. Wow. I'll check. Uh, Seftaliza yeah. for sure. <laughs> She's yeah. Persian as well, this lady? She's Persian, yeah. yeah. Okay. She's Persian. Um, what about you? When is your next exhibition? Yeah, um, hopefully in like four or five months. I'm thinking June, July. Or mm -hmm. just right before the beginning of summer. So yeah, yeah. So and I'm gonna you're going to have installations year. and paintings? Or uh, I think you do some installations as well. Or yeah. videos. Well, um, performances. Pretty much, yeah, performances, you know. Okay. Yeah, I, I do performances with naked women. Mm -hmm. So... Um, All right, just to just go back to retrospective. So the way I started doing Naked Women was um, it was an idea that came to me, you know, because I've, I I felt like we all come from women, lovely thing. Mm -hmm. But then at the same time, and she's we can also have a lot. We can all we can also have go through a lot because of, of women at the same time. So that's why I paint them. It's 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 an adoration for for this for this sides of women, you know. Mm -hmm. So I started doing it. It was not easy to take up. To take up on that mm -hmm. and then it just became part of me as well so yeah this is how i started doing so for this year i want to do a single exhibition mm -hmm. and yeah i'm gonna have a performance as well and also i'm thinking of of doing not just um um paintings as well i'm thinking of doing like photos as well with with women from different cultures nice. just, just to represent that yeah but it's, it's also it's going to be like body painting on them and it's going to be like photos as well yeah Okay. So this is what I'm planning for. You said during the summer, the exhibition? Yeah. And where, where is the exhibitions in general taking place? Usually, um, I, my first exhibition was in Exhibit 8. Mm -hmm. um, second exhibition was there. And then I didn't like the gallery space because people okay. come there, you know, they come and then it's like they come and look at the wall and then they go out, you know. Sometimes they speak to me. But I wanted people to communicate with the environment as well. So I started doing it in my house. Hmm. Then they would come there, there's a bit of drinks to chill, and then they would talk, and then not just talk to me, they would talk to the other people. So they have time to stay in that particular place because I keep them there. So that's what I started doing. So for the last three years, I've done that. Yep. And now this year, I want to do gallery, like one more gallery, and then, yeah, figure out what's going to be next. Okay, so you don't just do exhibitions. It's an experience. Yeah, experience for, not, yeah. for people as well. Not just for me. I love it. I love it when people just come and then not to talk to me, but talk about what you see with, other, with someone else, you know, because it's like two minds looking at something and they have um, different perspective of what, about what they are looking at as well. Yeah. So that, and uh, that makes more fun. The audience that uh, follows you, are they artists? Are they people who appreciate art? What, what kind of audience do you have? Uh, my audience don't really appreciate art. Which is fine for me. So it's I like that. I like that more. I don't like when people follow me because they appreciate art. Why? Because it's like you know they are they are seeing something new from someone different and from someone from a different country as well. And how so, do they see it? Like uh, are they embracing it? They do are they? What is the reaction? The way for me, yeah, uh, for, for me to say people are embracing is how they react, right? Is if I'm getting right. DMs and messages, I get it. Not a lot, but I do get it, mm -hmm. and I appreciate the one that I get once in a while. But I'm just doing my thing, you know, I'm just out there pushing and moving forward, yeah. And still doing my installations and vision and inviting the people who are into art or not. It's still just, you know, creating that ecosystem for me that matters now, yeah. Where do you see yourself in like 10 years, your art? What is going to be like transforming into? Well, um, I'm thinking of changing the, like the space of fashion mm -hmm. because fashion is more about, you know, like when, when they do fashion shows, The, the space that they're usually in is just either walls or there's no, you know, like there's no there's no poetry or literature in it. But that's what fashion is about. When, when, right. when you speak to a tailor, when they are designing the clothes, it's art. It's like an architecture. So I want to do I want to do collaborations in the future with big brands where um, they can have a show and my paintings are around. Mm -hmm. So people, before the show starts, people can look at the paintings and then, you know, the show starts. And also I would love to do um, a live painting during one of the biggest shows, fashion shows as well. So this is this is the thing that I'm thinking about. And in terms of where I see my art going, I can't really tell. I'm growing as well. So I also want to go back to school because I didn't study art. So I want to go back. I, okay. I want to go to an art school, study art, change my mind as well. Because right now my art is just, you know, it's really, it's growing. It's still in a baby 
phase I want to construct. Yeah, I, I need to maybe construct you don't it. need to go to school. Maybe it's, I mean the school you are doing is uh, on a, you grow up with your own experiences yeah, rather yeah, than yeah, sometimes when you go to study something it, yeah, can it changes change you yeah, yeah yeah not for long when i say school i don't mean a year i yeah, mean yeah. maybe six months you know just okay. to get, just have an idea of doing constructive art as well yeah just have an idea and studying a bit of history of art mm. european history as well this is what i what i would love to do and uh, your art in general do you have a brand name or how do you present it as you it's just dinga okay. dinga dinga basically is my grandfather's name mm. so usually from um back home they, they will call me christian right. or chris which christian is also my is like my grandmother's father's name mm. so uh, yeah dinga is your artist dinga name, yeah yes. dinga dinga is more you know it makes it more it stands it stands mm. out so dinga yeah it is does it mean something dinga or it means a tree it means tree. a family tree yeah ah. yeah Okay. Yeah. Family tree. Dinga. It sounds good also. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The alphabet. Uh, and you're wearing dinga. Yes, I am. There yeah. you go. Partly. And, partially. And, it was uh, done yesterday, yeah. actually. It so was, you did it for the podcast or you did it as a... I what? told him I want to ah, wear something yeah. of yours. Let's go. Yeah. On. She wanted to wear it for the podcast. So I was like, what I am I going to do? So she said she wanted a kimono or something. So I had this outfit. I was at work, so we were talking while I was at work. So I sent her a photo. I'm like, this, I have this. She's like, yeah, wow. I'm like, yeah. So I, I had no idea about what I was going to do. And then last night, I just started I just started doing it. And yeah, and I, I showed her she liked it. I'm like, it's okay. It's a wonderful thing. How yeah, art it's interacts nice. with the mind. Yeah. <laughs> But it's, it's also, it's not just the mind. It's like, it's, it's, it's the love, you know, that we have for each other. Because mm. she's far, she lives far away. And I live Where far away. Where do you live? In Larnaca, actually. It's not very you? far. I live here in Mosul. Mm. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. It's one hour drive. It's not drive. super far. Yeah. But yeah. we usually we interact during and on, on Instagram most of the times. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah we, so kept it, we kept this bond, like, since the time we met. Yeah, it's four very, years. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, you said about what's next. Uh, are you going to do a music video for the next song or... There will be something. I'm actually thinking about what idea, what it, what's gonna be. Um, it's gonna be something dark again, mm-hmm. but more sensual. It's gonna be more sensual this time. Prayer was dark, but it was also something fresh. I couldn't see it as a. It's not very sensual. It's more spiritual. Mostly. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But this time, uh, at that time. Domantine's gonna show her femininity hmm. in into the work. How the feminine side, like the guy is showing into his paintings, how it's vi- vibing with the with cosmos. And I guess your baby's gonna have you uh, taking some time off and off, off and on. Of course, no. it's a, it's a process. A concrete... It's a process. Thank yeah. you so much. Yeah. Yes. So. Uh, Yes, he's gonna be involved. It's a boy. He's gonna be involved in. So we are gonna make him artist. Stuff. He's already an artist. He I mean, he's already he, an he's artist. He's listening yeah. to, a yeah, listen to a lot of music. A lot of music. Yeah. He listens what we are what we are talking and about. I'm so now. proud. I'm so proud of of this ha- of this thing that's happening into my body. That you know, you have no idea. I was recording the song uh, lately, like fresh and like being part of me. It's an amazing miracle. Yeah. It's an amazing feeling. Yeah, of course. Yeah, Something is. that we are not gonna yeah. Uh, experience. Yeah, no, man for man, no. we can have. I mean, some men do experience it anyway, yeah. if they want to, <laughs> right? <laughs> if they want to. And I want to add something because you know, when, when she says dark, people might not misunderstand it. It's, it's not dark. You can only see light wherever there's darkness, right? Right. So, yeah. So whoever is listening, you know, when she says dark, she doesn't mean dark. Like not what, what you're getting, like not demonic. <laughs> What if people you know? want to interpret it's just, it as demonic? Darkness is yeah. darkness is also part of light. It's not yes. it's not a negative. Yeah. So it's beautiful. Yeah. Okay, guys. Uh, do you want to talk anything about anything else? Should we wrap it up? I, think I mean, yeah. Everything. Thanks for having me. Yeah. I mean, this is this, yeah. this, this has been a lovely. I always wanted to talk. I've always wanted to talk, so this is the first time I'm talking out. This is your first podcast, uh, yeah. Like first. Uh, I mean, I have interview. mine. I have mine that I started right. during the, during the pandemic, and I was just interviewing people, but it wasn't like you know really out there. 
So yeah, but this is the first time where I'm being, you know, in the space where I'm talking. And it's, I'm, I'm happy that I'm with her for the first time. So. Oh, that's good. Yeah. yeah. I'm happy to be your first. <laughs> yeah, of course, of course. My first music video was with you as well. So it was great. Yeah. All right. We're so very honored. Thank you so much yeah, for that. Of invitation. course. Yeah. Thank, Thank you for you so coming. Much, so. All right. You guys have Instagram, Facebook to for the people to follow you, right? You yes. are uh, how is Digger it? Official, that's my that's my Instagram. And that's it. I don't have any other channel. Well, and what about you? Time time. Yeah. And yeah. you have Valentine. YouTube so account, right? You have a YouTube account. Of so go and watch the clip prayer, like, comment if you like or not, subscribe because it helps. Yeah. And thank you guys for coming. Thank you so thank much. You. Thank, thank, you. So thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Bless day. Thank you. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.